Barack Obama, with a sign of a pen, ordered the closure of the Guantanamo military prison within a year and a halt to harsh interrogation of terrorism suspects, moving quickly to restore the U.S. image abroad. The message that we are sending around the world is that uh, the United States uh, intends to prosecute uh, the ongoing struggle against violence and terrorism, and we are going to do so vigilantly, we are going to do so effectively, and we are going to do so in a manner that is consistent with our values and our ideals. Shutting the controversial camp at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, where terrorism suspects have been detained for years without trial, would fulfill a promise Obama made during his campaign. We can abide by uh, a rule that says we don't torture but that we can still effectively uh, obtain the intelligence that we need. We are willing to uh, observe uh, core standards of conduct, not just when it's easy, but also when it's hard. Chris Preble of the Cato Institute says Obama has signaled a new era. When Bush administration officials and especially Bush administration lawyers chose Guantanamo Bay, they did so very explicitly because of its ambiguity. It was neither a, uh, a, a, a prison in U.S. territory on U.S. soil and therefore not obviously subject to uh, U.S. laws. It was also uh, in an ambiguous state with respect to international law. The prison became a stain on the human rights record of the United States and a symbol of detainee abuse and detention without charge under the Bush administration. Deborah Luderbeck, Reuters.